Now that last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. He didn't take a tent. This is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Well, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski did not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. The height of the entire complex is over 100 meters. Even 150. And all made of this metal? To a significant degree. If something were to live here... Yes? It would have to be very small. Like insects. On the other hand, there's no floor around to support such organisms. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself, Gorski. He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. I think he might have gotten lost in these structures. They're like a maze. Well, he shouldn't have if he was setting up flags. He must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms, but I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. <sighs> Left or right? Welcome back to the Invincible, everyone. Jason here, and oh, dude, this is getting really, really intense. So on the last episode, we found most of our crew and then we, uh, started following Dr. Gorski. He ran off on his own. Well, he walked off, explored on his own. And we followed him here to this cave! And now we- we- there's this big old, like, underground city with all of the, uh, metallic structures in here. I mean, look at this. Oh, I can't even see. Okay, it's too far away. So, we're trying to find out where Gorski went. And now we have to choose, go left or right. So I'm gonna go right because his flag and all of his equipment's up there and it looks like this trail leads up and over and we can go up there. So let's go see what the heck Gorski was doing over there. He set up a uh, transmitter, but it looks broken. So something happened. And I am really digging Nothing's this. Nothing's changed, Astrogator. All right. I tried to walk this kind of bridge. I'm really loving this. This is like creepy atmospheric. Huh? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Basically, yes. Dr. Clouser, however, warns of the methane content. I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. Yeah, so... There's a lot of methane, methane as they call it, methane, in the atmosphere. So you can <laughs> breathe, there's oxygen. But you will slowly start to have mental problems. Like you start hallucinating and having issues if you How breathe the, the atmosphere. The structures, are they still in the Yep. Wherever I look, there's metal. Look at all this. This is huge! Now, they call it a city. I mean... This is crazy. I'm not liking this. This looks... Okay. This doesn't look stable. Like, it looks like it's, like, decaying and rusted. I don't like that at all. Where did- Okay, I think I'm supposed to go that way. Am I supposed to go that way? 
That's where- okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go this way instead. That- that looks like it's gonna fall apart. Oh, Jesus! what's going on? Just a sec. It's gonna tear through my suit! I need to get- I need to- I need to get out. Yeah? Phew. The load-bearing capacity of this place is difficult to predict. It looks solid. The structures literally collapsed beneath me. But you're fine? Yeah, yeah. I just need to figure out where to put my feet. Tune your- what? Oh! Okay, so we can tune it to- to see more solid spaces? No? There we go. What is this? Fragile. Okay. I can see a safe route on the detector. Okay. So the highlighted spots are fragile, I'm guessing? Fragile. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is all falling apart. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, so highlighted spot parts are fragile. That's cool. Uh, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but the oceanic forms here are similar to those on Earth. So there should be similarities on land as well. Similarities? Life, Astrogator. I still think there should be life on the surface of Regis 3. There should be, but there's not. Well, I should say, it feels like those bushes, those metallic bushes we saw earlier in the last episode, they are like moving and alive. So maybe that is what's alive. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, look at all these uh, bad spots. Oh, Jesus. That scared, that scared the crap out of me. No. And please be careful. I'm trying. All right. I thought I was clear. Get up here. Doctor, I found something after all. From Gorski. It's hard to tell. There are errors in the transmission header. I'm going to play it so we'll find out. Okay. Gorski to base. I repeat, this is Gorski. Base, come in. No doubt. It's him. Now let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. Oh, bugger. No confirmation again. I report. I've made an amazing discovery. Geometric structures that... A thicket of bushy, pointed rods and slats. Mostly iron, but not only. Molybdenum, carbon, tungsten. Altogether similar to a giant integrated circuit. A million swarm of tangled cables. Not a trace of electric current, polarity, not even residual magnetism. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. You know, to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. It makes me think of the Lyrans. A race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found ash to a chip glued together. I've seen hypothetical schematics. The structures here remind me of those. Okay. Moving on. Readings. Well, that's it. What follows is just a humming noise. Any thoughts, Doctor? Oh, so far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Nor for any humanoids. Then, who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well... I think there might be something to it. 
By the way, you were right, Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in this discovery, in spite of everything. Yeah, he, uh, I think he, he thinks this is all the Lyrans, the aliens, civilization. I can see the relay up close. Looks broken. Definitely. Such damage could be caused by a local meteorological phenomenon. A severe thunderstorm with lethal and electrometeors. So, the weather is to blame for all of it? Well, I can't think of a better explanation at the moment. And he abandoned all of his stuff? Yeah, I think uh, Gorski went a little crazy. He abandoned. Look at that. His scope. These look like rations. Okay. I think he might be uh, going crazy. He thinks the aliens are here. I mean, I don't know what to explain this. Other than it, like, he says it looked like it, it carried power millions of years ago, like this was a city. So, this could be it. The Lyrans. But I mean, look at this. This is insane. There's no way this is natural. Oh, yeah, I'm not going that way. Uh-oh. There are more traces. This time handprints. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. Drop detector? Or maybe he left it? Like he was running? Because, yeah, it does look like he just dropped down real fast, left his detector, and just started booking it out of here. But, I mean, he's leaving all of his equipment behind. That's not good. Let's check over here. Nothing. Over here. Nope, that's- I think that's where we have to go, so let's check over here. Oh, those are my footprints, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, whoa, he came over here? No. Gotta be careful and check for my own footprints now. Okay, this is a dead end. Status? What's new? Well, nothing, really. At least, not in the last five seconds, huh? Right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would assume she said that to herself, but I also assume that he can hear, and a navigator can hear everything. Or astrogator. I keep calling him navigator. The astrogator. He can hear everything. Oh, okay. More equipment, dude. He left everything. Look at that. That's his emotion tracker. Um, that's more of the uh, dishes that we had. I found something. Again. I think he lost his mind. This seems to prove that Gorski's behavior is irrational. He must have lost his mind. And you're saying that right now? Without even seeing it? I wish I was wrong, Astrogator, but I can't think of any other explanation. Yeah, why would you leave all of your equipment? That's the problem. We're on a, a crazy planet that if you breathe the atmosphere, you, you start losing your mind. And he is dropping everything. Even if you're running from some danger, why would you leave all of your equipment behind? That's the problem. You don't leave it. You might need it later for anything. You need one of those dishes. Because you never know if, you know, you're going to get in communication later on. Or you need your motion detector. Or whatever. You don't just leave any of that stuff. So yeah, he's either crazy or there was some emergency. And I can't understand what emergency would there be for him to drop everything. And he doesn't drop it all in one spot. That's the other thing. He's dropping it in pieces all over the place. So, I mean, maybe that's more of a sign of an emergency because he didn't just drop it all at once, but I don't know. That's still kind of weird. <sighs> 
nothing over there. What? Oh. I think we see him or something. Finally. I have his position. Okay. Not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> nothing. I found his backpack. Oh, that's not good. You know what that means, sir? Yes. Okay, yeah, he's definitely crazy. He lost his backpack? Why is everyone in this- I don't understand. Why is everyone in this game dropping their backpack? Like, that's the one thing you need to live. Oh, jeez. Oh, there he is. I see him. Uh, got him. Uh, he's not moving. That's a genius move. See if he's breathing. Gorski! Gorski! Look at me! His eyes are closed. He's breathing, though. He's alive, but barely. Did you react in any way? Saturation is within the lower range. Risk of tissue hypoxia. And the reactions? Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Okay, get him out. He can't breathe. I don't know how long he's been without okay. oxygen either. He could be Let for hours. Just... Uh, I'm, I'm pulling him uh, out. Uh, done. He's out. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. Nothing? The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The broken guy do. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow the If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. Yeah, but I'm okay for two hours. I got two hours. The membrane looks intact. What did you tell me? Yeah. Hold on, Gorski. Please repeat. Don't be angry, sir. But. But what? Please do it. After, after careful consideration, I gave Gorski my tank. We still don't know when you'll send the lander, so I, I can't leave him without oxygen. Doctor, I explicitly told you not to. <laughs> No, well, I got this. I got two hours, buddy. So hopefully it doesn't take him two hours to send the dang ship. Last time it took like what? A minute? Are you serious? I'm already starting no no no. I got two hours. Are you out in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start it. Okay. That doesn't seem like safe. Wait, 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 what the? Why am I setting the transmitter out here? Yeah, that doesn't seem safe at all. There it is. Back up. saturation almost within the range. What? I don't know. 
God, this thing can hold me? I'm flying. I'm flying? You're losing your mind. Well, that's not good. What was that? Oh, can I wipe my visor? Oh, dang it. Astrogator, I, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone? Please. They're not coming. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. All right. Heartbeats racing. Deep breath. Come on. Don't freak out. <laughs> Don't freak out. What do we got around here? Nothing. Okay. So now <laughs> we got two hours to get the heck out of here. We need to find oxygen. I don't know where the heck we're going to find oxygen now. So hopefully we can get to the surface and... Deposit of water? Probably yeah. unsafe for consumption. Probably. I wouldn't, I wouldn't test I'd that. Rather not risk yeah. Let's... Shit! Meteoric waters... No. No. Too deep. Yeah. <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors. Situation. Hopeless. No. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Really? That was a waste. No flare, so I don't have a flashlight. Uh, oh, we gotta get to the surface so I can hopefully radio uh, Astrogator. Let's see if I can get up. Nothing's broken. Oh, Jesus. No. Stop, stop. Okay, good. Oh, God. <laughs> Lucky there's a platform right here for me to land on. No chance. Deep abyss. Fucking great. Narrow passage. Great. No, okay, yeah, no chance. I, I just um, can't. I'm pretty much fucked. That's my considered opinion. Was she just gonna lay down and die? Come on now. Yes, here, here. What? Who's that? That I can't see. Coffle. You came back for me. She's losing it. The land that took you. Hovel, please, speak to me. He's not speaking. I... Mm, I think Yasta's losing it. She's starting to hallucinate. I'm so glad to see you, Yasta. I have so much to tell you, but we don't have time. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. How are you planning to do it? 
I won't jump over to you. There's a passage on the left. It should get easier from there. Meanwhile, I'll be watching you from above. As long as we have comms, you won't lose me. We'll be out of here within an hour. You'll see. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me how you got here. Yes, no, we really don't have time for this. It's not safe here. Please, stand up. Yeah, I think she's hallucinating. How long was I knocked out? So much for the rescue. I was probably sleeping in that dang cave after we landed. How long was I there? Oh god, yeah. She's probably losing. Okay, great. Now I'm crazy. Because there's no way that guy was mentally, number one, mentally gone. But number two, he's on the dragonfly, so there's no way that they would have sent him back down. But yeah, she's just, the ass is just gonna accept it, okay. A lot of water around here. It's weird that there's a lot of water on this desert planet. Are you serious? I'm gonna crawl through this little tiny, are you kidding me? I have a gigantic suit on. Kovl, say something. I can't stand this silence. You often do that. Do what? Talk over your fears. There's no shame in being afraid. Don't worry. But I'm not afraid. Just a little tired. Yeah. Don't play the hero. You really don't have to pretend in front of me. I already admire you. You know, I'm proud and rather worried at the same time. What you did for Gorski, well, I wouldn't be able to do that myself. I don't know why I left him my tank. Gorski is dead anyway. Uh, don't say that. We will return for him. Something attacked me up there. Oh, it probably got him too. Then we'll ask Novik. The old man monitors our parameters. Uh, he only tells us what he deems fit. You know that, Koval. Uh, yeah, I do. Still, you did the right thing. Oh, maybe I did. But it was stupid too. A complete failure of reason in an act of futile heroism. Uh, is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? Only the flares got wet. Besides that, what have you got on you? Procedural minima. <sighs> Telemeter, locator, metal detector. So, pretty much minimum. Ah, pity. I wonder why they don't give us proper torches. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I would love for a flashlight right now. So I have a feeling uh, Koval is going to help us, but I don't know if he's really there. Hey! Hey, don't go so fast. I need to rest. What more hell? You can do it. Oh, uh, nope. Uh, oh, I've had enough. Just enough. Forward, Yasna. Faster. We're racing against time. Come on. We're fighting for our lives, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I'm sick of fighting. Okay, Yasna. I'm sorry. I demand so much from you. Too much. A moment ago, you said we'd be fine. And now you're letting me off so easily. Oh, it's not easy for me. Not at all. I'll be here with you until the end. Remember, none of this is your fault. You deserve to finally rest. No, I don't. I won't give up yet. I know. Can you stand? 
I need to uh, catch my breath fast. Just keep breathing in that bad air. Like I said, I'll be here. I only wish I could somehow comfort you. All in all, it's... I'm getting up, okay? I knew you would find the strength. You just needed a little encouragement. Don't push it. Yeah. <sighs> uh. I can do it. Yeah, I will not give up. I never doubted it. Oi. See if we can get to the surface. Thank goodness. See? You made it. My whining did some good, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of did. Oh, what is that? Skeleton? Do you see this? Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes, they're further up as well. Finally, we have proof. Millions of years ago, there was life on the surface of Regis Three. Uh, is it really such good news? Now, for some reason, there's nothing, you know, not even bacteria or viruses. I'm starting to suspect that someone or something prevented organisms from moving ashore. Perhaps it stopped them from leaving the water. If so, I think it stops them to this day. In other words, it's still here, and it nips all manifestations of life in the bud. Why then have I not met it yet? Yasna, I'm afraid you have. You know a lot, Koval. About what happened to me? About these fossils? The old man told me. Uh, about life on Regis? About you. He's clueless regarding Regis. Only cares about gaining some illusory advantage in this sector of the galaxy. Yeah, he knows a lot about what's going on here. Even more fossils. And now there are no comms. No one will even know about this discovery. Oh, stop being so pessimistic. I really don't like the idea of our bones resting next to these ones. Well, at least an HQ will send another expedition, and they'll find all the bones together. <laughs> Great, yeah, there you go. There's a silver lining. Good lord. Now we're going up, slowly. So we're gonna get to the surface, dang it. We, it's gonna happen. How come he's always in front of me? Koval? Yes? Are you really here with me? Of course. As well as the whole crew. You have very distinct memory traces of us all. In this marvelous little thing of yours called the brain. Stop joking. You know that's not what I'm asking about. I do. But there's no definitive answer, really. I just hope you won't forget about us. About me. So little, yet so much. I don't want to forget, Cobble. I really don't. Oh, she's now, she's coming to realize he's gone. I'm starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall? You'll overcome that fear just like the others. Because if you stay here, Come on, it's time to be among other people again. Somewhere. I promise. Not here. He was never here. Are we on the surface? Or is this like some crazy hallucination that she's having. Uh-oh. I see the metal. 
Oh, it is just all solid. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I, I remember we, uh, we changed the sensor to look for weak spots. Gator, I... I'm here. Over. Fine! Yes, sir. You can't even imagine. It's really good to hear your voice again, Doctor. Sir... I saw Koval. Yes, sir. Are you saying... what? Uh, I don't quite understand myself. Alright. I see that for now. Are you injured in any way? Uh, no. <clears throat> As usual, I came out of trouble unscathed. Yeah, imagine that. Some would call it a blessing in disguise. <clears throat> I'm not calling it anything until I'm out of here, sir. Understood. Please continue. We'll talk later. I came out unscathed as usual. Does she always perfectly get through? Is this all in her head? Like, did I die already? Are you there? Do you copy? What the? Uh, that's not good. What the? What kind of deadly shit is this? Doctor, what are you talking about? There's something here. It looks like a machine. It burned a hole in the wall. And I was marching on these kind of crab legs. Damn. You must evacuate immediately. Sounds like you know what it is, sir. No, I have my suspicions. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Walking antimatter cannon. Antimatter. You're fucking kidding me, oh, sir. Oh, great. Unfortunately, I'm not. I think it's moving away from me. That is very sharp looking. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. How is it possible that the Alliance machine got here before us? I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and Invincible already landed on Regis 3, they would have a huge advantage over us. So why won't they confront our ship head on? <laughs> Instead, they waste time on some shady diversion. I can see a passage, but it doesn't look very... inviting. <sighs> anyway... So why wouldn't they confront that shit head on? Oh, jeez. Shit! Did it circle around? It's still here. I have to... I'm stuck. I can't move. Oh, it's coming at me. Oh, great. It's getting closer. It's gonna crush me. I've got nowhere to run. I'm gonna die here after all. Volley to the rescue! Come in! Jasna, we must evacuate you! I'm getting paralysis. I'm okay. The probe did something. As if. The probe safe? I don't know. I don't know. I saw the readings. They were distress signal and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement. Currently, it does not respond to commands. <sighs> I'll check on it. I guess it's busted for good. <sighs> Cursed crap. <sighs> oh, the hatch fell down. Probably from the registry. Can you get the record? Let's see. What do we do? Okay, we're gonna get a record out of this? Okay, we are. What in the world? Okay. You guessed right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. Okay, so this is them setting it up. 
Eve have managed to set up a fill base. Oh, jeez. Falcon headquarters have got it so wrong. According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. Yeah, 14 days is a little bit off. Like, a whole couple of weeks they were rowing? Jeez. That's really bad. So they had this anti-mat following them. As they were- they were here for f a week... before? Or two weeks? Like, how long have they been here? How long have they been here? They had a rover. Oh, wait a minute. Are we going to be able to find this rover? If I can get more air? What the heck is that? Oh, is this the hole that it dug? Okay, it was digging a hole. And... Oh, that's me. That's me. Wow. It really did almost flatter me. Yep, it was coming for me. Probe. It... it distracted the anti -mat. You say that as if it did it on purpose. How else to explain it? Coincidence? I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Yeah, that thing, it came out of nowhere. I, would, I didn't even have it following me. And then it got shot. Dang it. So my, my probe is gone. That thing is probably destroyed. Let's go see. This thing better not wake up. Yeah, it looked like it distracted. It made the anti mat fire at the wall and it collapsed. Okay. Ollie! Much left of it. Oh, is it like cut in half? Oh, it is. Broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. Let's see what happened. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Asna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway. You're not entirely alone. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. No. Oh! What are we doing here? I guess I have to take the, uh... The brain? Okay, it just kicked me right out. Okay. Okay. Hit cool down. Are you talking about the probe call? <sighs> They say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. But the key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. I thought it was, uh, okay. to get to a person you go through Time their stomach. To get out of here. I thought that was the thing. No? You have to take their heart? Okay. Oh. It looks like that's too hot. Like, how is the. Simply go get a break. What is it this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I know, Doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait oh. a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. What? It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. What? Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Are you asking about? I mean the lack of your oxygen tank, sir. How are you feeling? 
I've been hallucinating, yeah, I'm losing it. I've already experienced what Dr. Krauter referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. Actually, Koval participated in them. But how? I had a long and heartfelt conversation with him. Uh, please don't ask for details. Yeah. Losing it. And so, yeah. Gorski is gone. I gave him my oxygen. Well, that's great. Probably fell down that pit when I was- when I fell too. Oh, is she losing? Alright, you're okay. I don't know how long it's been. They don't give you time, like, I have no idea. Has it been a couple hours? Yeah, I think she's out of breath. Oh, she's- I think she's panicking. Gotta slow down your breaths. You're breathing too hard. You gotta slow down. Oh, damn it. Oh, of course. Yeah, storm out here. Great. Go walk through the rain. Looking for these uh, this camp or whatever they just came from. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa, wait a minute. Pastor Peter. I found their vehicle. The transport? No. A rover. There isn't a living soul here. No, I don't see anybody. No one's coming out with me. I'm all alone. Yeah, there's no one here. Not disappointment. But tiredness. Get in! Are you surprised? There's no one inside either. The equipment looks undamaged though. Get in here. Uh, there's no oxygen. Can I get over in the seat? No. Jesus Christ! Yes, but I still have to pop back outside. Screw this game. Let's check something. Screw this game. Doctor, I know, I know. Ah. Uh, it's important. My heart just exploded. Oxygen? What are you talking about? I found an oxygen tank. Oh, of course. Why did I think of that? Rescue kit is essentially all the equipment, even the alliances. Huh? Better? Yes. Oh, that's what I needed. Time to hit the road. Alright, yeah, give me that oxygen tank. That's a big one, too. Okay. Start the rover. Get in here. Get out of the rain. Good lord. Oh, no, no. Don't go back out. What are you doing? Gosta, get back in. Sorry, I'm looking all over the place looking for how to... Okay, there we go. Close the door? Can you not close the door? Okay, you woman. Ah, oh, coffin. Sorry, guys. Can you do this? Ah, the engine started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Okay, so we're gonna drive away. <laughs> okay, good. At least we're in a rover. I don't have to worry about that. Are you driving? Leave the city. I'm going. Please talk to me. And maybe that will calm me down. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out unscathed. 
Yeah, the vehicle is, is kind of a Faraday cage. The, the energy will flow through the body and discharge into the ground. I'm not worried. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. Yeah. <laughs> there are exceptions, you know. Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. Doesn't stress me out at all. Oh, that's great, yeah. I didn't even think about that. The window, the glass would break. Oh, no. I remember no. a mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. Chemist, cyberneticist, a doctor, an engineer and a physicist. Simple reconnaissance mission. But there was a miscalculation and we'd crashed the rocket. Then we put it back together. For huh? whatever was on hand, quite a mission. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying were the creatures we found on the surface of it. Oh, wait. Creatures? <laughs> yes. You are making this up, aren't you, sir? Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have exaggerated a bit. Yeah. Trying to mess with me. Oh, man. Yeah, I just realized that all this is metal. Of course, the lightning is going to strike the metal. Okay, just hang out in this cave until the the, uh, the storm passes. Come on now, Yasna. This way? Okay, I guess we're going this way. Okay. I guess he's done talking. <laughs> yeah, I called him out on his story and he's like, ah, well, never mind. That way? Or this way? Now we'll go this way. We'll keep going straight. Oh, okay. It feels like this is just a choose your own adventure, but we're all going to the same spot. Like, we keep looping around. Here? Okay, let's go here. What is going on Damn here? It. Oh. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? Yeah. I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, how okay. Far am I? I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Still raining. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a pretty genius idea. The less lightning flashes, the less, uh, or the farther you are away from the city. That's pretty smart. I found a place to hide. A Faraday cage? Uh, that's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Oh, okay. What for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. <laughs> A Could space odyssey. Uh, let me see. Bingo. Emmett are equipped with a black box. Please find it. Oh. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Uh, you must have changed the equipment because I have no information about a key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. It that does matter. Help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Eureka. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket, a plug. Yeah, like that right there. It leaps down in here. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And press it. It won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside, we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. 
Okay, we're gonna rip out this wire. And hook my thing into it. Oh, with the brain, okay. Okay, it's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It'll take me a while to get through all the records. Okay. You can go to bed. Let's just sit there while I sleep. Oh, wait. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the flight? Uh, most probably. No one is transmitting from the base. Nothing. On the other channels, all I hear is static. The storm must be causing interference. Okay, so nothing coming from the base. I suggest you lie down. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? If we talk, maybe I'll finally fall asleep. Naturally. Have anything specific in mind? Yes, actually. I wasn't able to report it earlier, but I found fossils underground. Fossils? Based on my brief observations, they belong to lizard-like creatures. Really? At least there's something lived on this sterile rock. Please forgive the question, but are you sure? Oh, I didn't imagine them, did I? I don't know. It felt real. Why don't I try to find some confirmation in the Alliance data? For now, let's talk about something else. Instead of getting ahead of ourselves. A more light-hearted subject, perhaps. May I ask why you became an astronaut? There are two answers to this question. An honest one, and a personal lie. To give you the clearest picture of the truth, I'd have to tell you both. I'm all ears. As cadets, we participated in a series of meetings. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all wanted to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. Remembering childhood memories when we first heard about the brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Every astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that, but my reason, an honest reason, not a nice sounding memory that never happened, that I've never been able to find my place. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here, in space, although I never dreamed of exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It was among my crew that I found... Well, that was a really riveting story that we fell asleep to. <laughs> oh, wait. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and the encryption key. Um, but how do we do that? What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, yeah. they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Bawley? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... I was going to say, don't say it out loud. What's wrong with you? Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Three... Two... What is that? Seven? Seven? 
Okay. This is actually a smart way to do it. I would be dumb. I would Next leave is... it open. Two. One. Four. Two. One. Just double checking. Four. Okay. Gasser? I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how shall we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. Now let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. I'm very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. Yeah, but I mean, we have people here. Where's Gorski? We're gonna get, not gonna go get his body? We're gonna leave him? Well, I mean, he might be in a pit. We can't get to him. Alright. Well, hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button and... In the next one, I guess we're evacuating. We're gonna get the heck out of here, so I will see you guys in the next one.